Hey YouTube, Engineer Prepper here. Okay, so I got an email from a subscriber regarding timing on this thing. So I'm going to go into a little bit more detail um, on timing. Uh, like I said, as a disclaimer, um, I got this engine. It's a replacement engine from an, a used one from Japan. It was shipped to me. So, and it was uh, from a working motor. So I'm, I'm assuming that the timing was correct on the on the uh, crankshaft and on and on the camshaft side of the front of the engine. I didn't take it apart to um, look at it, but uh, I, I I went with it. So after installing the engine, I had to put it in timing uh, because of the distributor, you know, the alignment of the distributor. So what you need, the first thing you need to do is go to your cylinder, take off the cap, uh, the valve cover <clears throat> and take the spark plug one out uh, take the spark plug out and then uh, you got to turn the crank until the valves don't make no longer are pressing against the um, uh, the valves the, the rocker arms are not pressing against the valves Do you hear the little click let me see right now it, it is because it's in it's in the compression you hear that? Okay. So you want to hear that noise on these two valves, on the intake and the exhaust. Um, after you hear that, that means that the valves are completely uh, sealed. And you turn the crankshaft. I, I, what I used is a, this little shish kebab stick, and I sticked it in the piston until I got top deck. Here, I'll go here. Until it went all the way up on, on me. And I was playing back and forth until I got the top dead center. Okay? So, after you get that, you go to your transmission case. And here, there's a little plug underneath the EGR. And there, you will you have your timing marks. Let me see if I can get that in there. Right now, here's the, the mark on the crank. I mean, on the transmission case, you want to line that up. See, mine is about seven degrees top dead center. So it, it's perfectly on there, okay? And as soon as you get that aligned with that, you go to, to your, oops, let me zoom out, sorry. You go to your distributor cap, and you want to align this, uh, the rotor all the way to, piss, to, um, to uh, the, your, verse, your first, Pist uh, sorry, not piston. Well, yeah, piston, but your first spark plug wire. Here on the mark, you, you see this little mark here on the distributor cap? That's where you need to line it up. So that's your number one firing order on this thing. Let me put this back. And then, oh God. There we go. And then pop this one in. Okay. Make sure that wire's on. So this is. Spark plug one, that's firing three and two. So one, three, two, that's your firing order, one, three, two. Okay, so <clears throat> once you got all that set, you should fire up. Um, I need to put, here, let me, let me see if I could put my distributor, my valve cover on real quick. I want oil all over the place. Well, let me pause it real quick and uh, let me put the valve cover on and the fuel pump back on and uh since i got it right now off and uh and um you know i'll i'll start it up for you okay i'm back now that i got the valve cover on oh, let's get this back up here Clip that make sure the plugs are in put them tight Okay, I got the fuel pump back on. Now I'm just going to show you the distributor. The rotor. Okay, currently it's up here and with timing in the seven degree mark. That's because it's in the intake phase. So don't worry, just don't worry. You want, when you do your timing, uh, you want the valve, I mean the um, piston one in the compression stage. So that's what the two valves are loose. That's you know that's um, 
yeah, I'm making that little no rattling noise. And uh, and then you should be lined up. Okay, hold on a second. Uh, let me put the distributor cap back on. And we should be rocking, hopefully. Here we go. God, this was a pain. It's taking it all apart. It's always off timing a little bit, a couple degrees. So I wanted to do this video anyway. And uh, since I got that email, might as well knock out two birds with one stone. Oh, okay, there we go. All right, now make sure this little wire is back on. It might, it might crank up a little bit because uh, I took the fuel pump off, but we'll see. Here we go. Okay. Squared a couple. There we go. All right, so my timing mark, I won't be able to see it. I'll need a timing gun, but if, if you need to play with the timing a little bit, a couple degrees here and there, loosen that bolt here, on, and then turn, uh, rotate clockwise or counterclockwise the distributor, and you should be good. All right, so I appreciate that. Um, hopefully that works for you guys. Thanks.